Okay, we are going to learn how to grid a design. Uh, this one is actually going to be the tutorial for how to do it in Photoshop. Um, you need to make sure when you bring your picture in that you actually have the rulers showing. Um, if you do not, you go to view and you can scroll down here to where it says rulers and click that or you can do control R. That's the shortcut. I already have rulers selected so I don't need to worry about that. Next thing you need to do, you need to make sure that this is in pixels format, not inches or millimeters. All you have to do is right click somewhere on that ruler and you can choose what option you want. We want pixels, so we're leaving it at pixels. All right. Next, we actually need to be able to resize the image. We need to resize the image based on the actual um, pattern. So we're going to go here, and as you can see, my pattern is 195 stitches wide by 341 stitches high. So we're going to go back to Photoshop, and we're going to go to Image, and we're going to click Image Size. Okay, this little lock button right here, when you see these little lines, it means that those are locked, and if you change one of these numbers, the other one is going to change in proportion to that number. We don't want that to happen, so we need to click that again and make sure that those lines are not there. Okay? All right. Cancel. I don't need to do that. All right. We need 195. So we go back to Photoshop, and in this section, we type 195. And then we need the height, we need to go 341. 341. All right, once you've done that, you say okay. All right, it has resized my image. I'm going to zoom in, and I zoom in until this ruler shows from one main line to the next main line as 10. And why I do that is because each one of these little tick marks is going to be one, which is going to be important. All right, we're zoomed in and we can see the top. We now need to go back to our pattern and we need to scroll down to the actual pattern. And we see that our first page is 80, inch, 80 stitches wide. Back into Photoshop, we're going to choose the pencil tool right here. And we're going to make sure that we pick a color down here that we like. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave it as white because that will show up on this. Um, that is a personal preference. You can make it any color you want. Um, I'm going to make the size two pixels. That's going to determine the width of the line that is drawn. Okay. Normal mode, opacity is fine. All right, we need 80 pixels. We are going to find the 80 mark. We are going to press our left button on your mouse and hold the shift key down and drag down. That's going to force that line to continue to be straight. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'll explain in a minute. All right, now we need to go back to the pattern. And we need to find out what the second page. It is 151, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 157. We need to go over to the 157 mark. I think that's about there. Whoops, wrong button. 157 mark. Make sure you're actually on the image. And then we scroll down some. All right, we've got the verticals. Now I need to go to the next row and figure out, well, the first row is 90. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 98. All right, we need to go over to this side and find 98. Oh, right about there. And again, we press the shift key to make sure that we get it across and straight. 
go to the next row on our pattern and it ends at 193 and we go to 193 no oh, there we go oops control z undoes screw ups that's what you're seeing um all right then we're just going no click on that it's going to snap to it um only because i have snap selected make sure you have snap selected and all of these selected and we're going to extend those lines well I need to add another so I need to go to the next row and it ends on 281, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 288. And there you have it. You have a gridded chart. And you just say file, save, and make sure that you save it as a JPEG, not Photoshop, unless you want to edit it. Okay, and we are done.